The Redmi Note 7 Pro was launched at the end of Feb with tremendous excitement since it ticked all the right boxes and provided a great value for money at a price of Rs 13.99. But what if you are willing to spend a bit more for something better? Does the Huawei P30 Lite at Rs 19.990 fit the bill or is it overrated? This is Sandeep from Revitalist, let's find out. This video is brought to you by Zest Money. Visit zestmoney.in and avail instant loans to buy your favorite smartphone. It's an entirely digital process with high approval rates, seamless EMI payments, and even zero pre-closure charges. But the best part of all is the 0% interest on most merchants, and you don't even need a credit card or a credit score either. In terms of overall handling, the P30 Lite definitely takes the cake with a smaller footprint as well as curved back and more rounded edges that fits well into your palm. But in terms of looks, both are about the same. Large slabs of glass that look very similar up front but a bit different at the back. The gradient variants on both are eye catchy, but the P30 Lite looks amazing, especially in the peacock blue version. Redmi Note 7 Pro also has a P2i coating for some splash resistance, which the P30 Lite doesn't have. In terms of screens, the Note 7 Pro has a 6.3 inch 1080p panel, while the P30 Lite has a 6.15 inch panel with the same resolution. They both also have small dot notches which can be hidden in the settings. For indoor usage, both the phones are about the same, but the P30 Lite has better quality, while outdoor usage seems to suffer more on the P30 Lite owing to the more reflective glass. Speaking of glass, you get Gorilla Glass 5 protection on the Note 7 Pro, but just regular tempered glass on the P30 Lite which isn't as good in terms of scratch protection. The back is also Gorilla Glass 5 on the Note 7 Pro, while the P30 Lite isn't, and as a result, the Note 7 Pro is the one to go for, especially if you want to use the phones without a case. Both phones support fingerprint unlock and face unlock using the front-facing camera. In both cases, the Note 7 Pro is faster to unlock while accuracy is about the same on both. Audio-wise, the call quality and loudness as well as the media loudness over both the earphones and the audio jack is better on the Note 7 Pro compared to the P30 Lite. In terms of software, both phones run on Android 9 Pie, but I would pick EMUI over MIUI in terms of overall smoothness and RAM management, although visually and in terms of features, MIUI does have the lead. P30 Lite is powered by a 12 nanometer Kirin 710 Octa-Core chipset, while there's a 11 nanometer Snapdragon 675 Octa-Core chipset powering the Redmi Note 7 Pro. The Note 7 Pro is better in terms of gaming, but daily tasks and most other performance requirements are similar. You can choose between 4 or 6 GB RAM on either, but the P30 Lite comes in 128 GB storage on both, while the Note 7 Pro comes with 64 GB of storage on the 4 GB variant and 128 GB of storage on the 6 GB variant. The back on the Note 7 Pro has a 48 megapixel half inch Sony IMX586 sensor with f1.79 aperture and 0.8 micron pixel size, which becomes 1.6 micron pixel size when shooting in default 12 megapixels of resolution. You can also shoot in 48 megapixels of resolution, and the detail you get from the camera is incredible. You also get a front facing 13 megapixel f2 unit. In comparison, the P30 Lite has a triple camera setup at the back that has a 24MP f1.8 camera, an 8MP ultra-wide camera, and a 2MP depth sensor with f2.4 aperture. The front-facing camera is a 32MP f2 unit. Image quality so far has been decent on the P30 Lite and not as promising as the Note 7 Pro. We shall be bringing out a camera comparison with both the phones soon, so please do stay tuned for that. In terms of battery life, you'd expect the Note 7 Pro to be the endurance champion among the two, but in reality, funnily, the difference isn't that much. We got roughly the same battery life from the Note 7 Pro's 4000mAh battery and the 3340mAh battery on the P30 Lite. Despite the Note 7 Pro having a 11nm chipset, the overall efficiency and optimization seems to be pretty good on the P30 Lite. In terms of charge speeds, the Note 7 Pro takes an hour and 45 minutes with the default charger, but a proper QC 4.0 Plus charger can top it up in 1 hour and 10 minutes, while the P30 Lite can do it in 1 hour 25 minutes using the 18 watt charging. Both the phones charge over USB Type C. Overall, aside from the visual appeal and smaller footprint, it's tough to suggest the P30 Lite over the Note 7 Pro because the latter does everything better, if not the same, at a much cheaper rate as well. So, unless the design appeals to you that much, I would suggest going for the Note 7 Pro over the P30 Lite. Thanks for watching this video. Please do hit the subscribe button if you like it. See you again in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you visit zestmoney.in and avail instant loans to purchase your dream products, be it a smartphone, electronics, furniture, and more across Flipkart, Amazon, and more than 100 other partners.